was on his schedule right now. Not a tall task for him. So he's taking classes such as control and integration of mid-domain dynamic systems. Something that might be hard for me, but definitely. Made for Brent Venables. Gibson on the carry. He's going to lose one. Lawrence, number 90, is a beast of a player. Defeats the block and then just wraps the back up. Literally tackled uh, Cobra this morning. Head the backs with Harris Roberts. Up past the 40 yard line by Dirks. He got two. Dual threat guy. Ball on the ground. Some D. Yeah, this this defensive front is so disruptive. They penetrate. He camps out in your backfield. That throw will... Defensive front, they're in your face all day long. Christian Wilkins, number 42, blows up the back trying to come across. And then, hey, say hello to Austin Bryant, number seven. It's six foot five, two. Pressure. Lincoln got away. Up near the four. Cross. The red shirt freshman Jamar Lincoln in on the second series for the pound and wants to toss this one. Took a hit. Take a look at the heat and how Lincoln waits. Here comes Cleveland Farrell off the edge, takes a big shot. There's Dexter. Lincoln cut down at the 45. Harris Roberts was the quarterback for the first series. They've gone to the red shirt freshman Lincoln trying to escape. The orange pressure, and he gets up in. Well, it's a good play by Wallace. It's a really good play by Lincoln. Cleveland Farrell's loose again in the backfield. This is why Lincoln's in the game, because... That snap is high, and bouncing back inside the 30. Lincoln running back to get it. Eight day 13-0 and beat Florida State. 26-16 in the Fiesta Bowl. And now T. Martin, the quarterback's coach. Coach of the year in the SoCon last season, eight and five on the year and six and two in conference play. That Okies have been in Tallahassee since 2008. That will be Monday. That one floating up near midfield. Second and six. Win to the left side. He got one. It's 424 yards per game on third down out to win near the 40. Leland Farrell. 99 in orange on the tackle. Well, that's the part that's impressive about Bryant and Farrell. They're gigantic human beings. 6'5", about 270, 280 pounds, yet they can make plays outside the numbers along the sideline. That's why both those guys will be playing the defensive end for somebody in the National Football League. Football on a Saturday in that Clemson Life program. On fourth down for the Paladins. Wilkins stops the ball carrier short. No gain on the play, and the ball goes back to the Tigers. Well, it went back to the play that paid him off the last fourth down play. They ran the option play, let Lincoln carry it, but Christian Wilkins. Dirks into the touchdown pass from Kelly Bryant. Couple of field goals from Greg Hugel. That's your scoring for the Tigers. That is complete to Bell there midfield. Moorhead. There is no game. Big win against the Miami Hurricanes, 38-3 in Charlotte a season ago in that title game. That passed too far for everyone. Cam Burnett, number 11, closest Paladin risk. Syracuse and Duke have already posted victories in the ACC this week. Third and long. Down. Ball at about the 12 and a half yard line. There are multiple penalty flags on the field. Yeah, two guys moving at the same time and didn't get back set, so that's going to be another flat. He's a redshirt freshman. Up near the 20 yard line is Corey Watkins. Obviously, a couple of them couldn't have gone to the National Football League. All four. Were. Take the toss and try to catch Clemson with their speed going the wrong direction, but Jack Smith oh, will, but don't breathe too quickly because there's, uh, there's a whole bunch of them loaded in the bin. Offense. First and 10 from the 25. Lincoln tries to turn it upfield and get guys on the field, the number one starting unit. This is Lincoln. And now third and five on the opening series for Furman and White. Lincoln 
cannot ball spotted at the permit 45 yard line first and 10 and through the line number one Alabama takes on Louisville and we'll take you right through Monday Justin Harris to play right guard but they they've done it as solid job as they can third and six and the play goes nowhere Lawrence and Wilkins with a plan to meet at the quarterback and it works for a five yard loss well he and Trevor he and uh, Dexter Lawrence burst through the middle and boy that's not something you want to see as a running back if you want to <laughs> if you're the quarterback and you look up and you've got Lawrence and you've got Wilkins see, Darren Granger is in at quarterback for the Paladins Granger wants to unload one near sideline the receiver stumbled down that was 88 Dewan Bell now Granger, uh, when we talked to Clay Hendricks, he talked about Granger and how good arm he has. And the 6'4 product steps back. He's going to try to find a little time back there. But Cleveland Farrell says, you're not going to get a lot of time against us. It's Lincoln and Granger have all seen action today at the quarterback position for the Furman Paladins. Played well. In fact, they won seven in a row after we saw early in the season. That's a sack. Farrell. Pulling down Granger. We go to our Charlotte studios and up to